G'day, welcome to Down in the Woodworks and to episode four of SAW, which stands for Spotlighting Aussie Woodworkers. In this episode, we have two woodworkers. The first is only fairly new to both woodwork and YouTube, deciding to take on both at the same time, only about a year ago. But it has been great to watch him grow as a woodworker and also seeing his videos improve. The second woodworker is a special spotlight, so please watch through to the second half of the episode as we step out of YouTube for the first time and see something great that this guy is doing on Instagram. So first up is James from Fix It Fingers, and as I said, he's pretty new to this, but he's given it a real good go. I'll let him introduce himself. G'day guys, and welcome to my channel. My name is James, aka Zalgariath, aka Fix It Fingers, and this all started with a drill. This drill, to be precise, and the need to get through some of my lovely garage wall bricks. I had a few things I wanted to mount. I really didn't have any experience with a tool or any of the things you can now see behind me when I kicked all this off a bit over a year ago. And that really started me off on what has become a new hobby. That is, fluffing around in my garage, slash shed, slash man cave, slash now woodworking workshop. So there's no real formula of what's going to be going on. It is mostly going to be me really, really, really badly trying to make things and stuffing up many, many times. I have done a couple of projects already, so I've got a tiny bit of experience under my belt. Well, that's all I really wanted to say for this first video. Uh, if anyone ever does bother to watch this, I hope you are kind. Please keep in mind that everything I'm doing, you're pretty much seeing it as I am seeing it for the first time. I am literally making shit up as I go along. The whole point of this is to have some fun, to carry on like a chook, and maybe, just maybe, end up with a few useful things at the end of it. Welcome to project two. Project one, holding up well, hasn't fallen apart yet, so I'm pretty chuffed with that. A serviceable, if somewhat ugly and mismade pegboard, gonna be handy for this particular project. James knew very early on that if he wanted to make the most of the small space he has in his garage, he's gonna to have to get smart. Having no bench tools, because he has no bench space, his second project was to build a multifunction workbench. They're pretty nice looking holes, and they are exactly the right size. The heart of my workshop is my multi-function table, which is a Ryobi cutting bench to which I have built this tabletop. It is a router table. This attachment and this table are going to let me do so many more things so much faster than I could previously. It's an inverted jigsaw. It is a disc sander. It does a lot of different things for me. James has managed to post 54 videos in his 13 months on YouTube, which is pretty impressive. That includes a few review videos as well. I think the least we can do to keep that drive and enthusiasm going is to head over to his channel and hit the subscribe button and also follow him on Instagram. His range of projects is fairly wide. And again, I'll let him tell you about them from his one year reflection video. October the 2nd last year, 2018, was the first time I published anything to YouTube and pretty much coincides with what I'm gonna call my woodworking anniversary. It was when I really got serious about taking this up as a hobby. And today we're going to quickly go through about what I've learned over the past year and talk about the projects that I've actually managed to achieve over 12 months. So before I kicked off YouTube, I really hadn't built anything. I had almost no experience and obviously no experience in making YouTube videos. But as far as the woodwork goes, this box which is full of the guinea pig's hay and this little assembly area were the only things of wood that I had designed and constructed, if you can call it designed. So firstly, you've got the pegboard sitting just behind me here. The multifunction workbench, which has got the router table, the tilt router table, the jigsaw inverted insert, 
and the disc sander as well. Coin Run Money Box, which I made for my niece and nephew, Stephen and Friday. They haven't managed to destroy it, so happy with that, with five-year-olds and a toy, still in good nick, down the line. The Giant Oz Path Tag Holder, which was the first thing I made for myself and my first hardwood project over there. The Wifey's Ukulele Stand, which is also still kicking along upstairs. She still uses that every single day. What else we got on here? The plant boxes. They have proved to be weatherproof. They are out on a veranda, but they only get the water from the watering of the plants, but they're holding up really well too. The barrier above my garage door, well, no one's broken in yet, so I suppose we'll call that a success. My first run of mass production path tag holders. Should have grabbed a few of those, get the photo instead. And then my second run of mass produced path tag holders. We had the square ones and we had the mini Australia shaped ones too. Bit of a carpentry job over at my parents' place. We renovated the rear veranda and built some steps, which was the real woodworky, challenging part of that. Again, they're holding up well. The Oz Geo Mustard Proxy, sad I don't have that anymore. It's one of the coolest things that I built, but it of course was given away as a prize at the 2019 Oz Geo Muster down in Wollongong. My jointer, take a peek at that too. This is a good example of how James has improved his woodworking. Going from this... This was a freebie actually, it was a planer that came along with the kit and I have absolutely no idea how to use it. To this. And the ones that I have just finished. My cabinets and my shelves and drawer units. Pretty chuffed with how these came out. They look exactly like I designed them on SketchUp all those months ago. Obviously, my woodworking skills have come a little way since beginning. It's already quite cringeworthy going back and watching how much I struggled to make this pegboard, but that's what this channel is all about. You can go back and watch the whole 12 months to where, how I went from here to here. I'm pretty proud of what I've managed to achieve over this time period as a complete novice to a slightly less than complete novice. Alrighty guys, well that's the Fix It Fingers workshop as far as it stands in October 2019. 12 months since I started this crazy woodwork and YouTube journey. Gonna be interesting to see what comes out of 2019, what's left of it, and 2020. We'll see in 12 months where the workshop has grown to and what I'm using, what I've acquired, what I've gotten rid of, but for now, that's all I've got for today. Since he posted that video, he's also built this pretty cool Murbau sliding dog gate. Well, that was James from Fix It Fingers. I'll have a link in the description below to his channel. Go over there and watch some of his videos. And let's keep him on his woodworking learning journey by subscribing to his channel. Next, we have Ashley Walker from Woodwork and Whiskers on Instagram. He's a woodworker who's a great knockabout bloke and he also makes some quite unique furniture. Have you ever heard of bunny furniture? Like a bunny bed? Or a bunny house? Here we are folks, the bunny towers are complete. So, two stories, one bridge, two ramps, uh, some more hearts on the ramps, carpeted, both sides, Now, the reason why I wanted to spotlight Ash on the show is because of the enormous effort and passion he puts into producing a fantastic series on his Instagram that I'll let him tell you about. Welcome to the Monday Meetup, where each week we're going to bring you an assortment of Aussie talent uh, for you to meet. Um, we're going through all gamuts, trades, makers, DIY, uh, craft, artists, you name it, woodwork, metalwork. We're going to try and cover the lot and we're going to try and bring you people from every state across Australia. So thanks for tuning in and enjoy the show. So far on the show, he's had some great talent. There's been female tradies. A bladesmith, YouTubers, painters, 
even face-to-face -face interviews. G'day Stormtroopers, Ash from Woodwork and Whiskers, here with Ryan from Oz Sawdust Makers. Apprentice plumbers, an artist and a mini toy treehouse maker, a slate carver and a jewellery and wall hanging maker, and high quality builders. As I said, Ash puts a lot of effort and a lot of time into producing that series. He's about to wrap it up for this year, for the first season, but we'll return next year with a full lineup on a fortnightly basis. So please go over to his Instagram and give him a follow, and that way you won't miss out on any of it. I'll leave a link to his Instagram in the description below. And with that, that brings us to the end of another episode of Saw. And as always, until we meet again, you guys all have a great day.